Hello and good uh, afternoon. Welcome to this week's episode of Creative Corner. Um, I was absent last week because I went on a vacation, but I'm now I'm back. So today we're going to be celebrating and honoring um, Native American Heritage Month by making some sand paintings. Um, traditionally, sand paintings are used for ceremonial practices, but we're going to take um, the basic knowledge of sand painting and apply it to an actual painting. Before we get started with our workshop, we'll go over our materials, which you'll see right in front of you. Um, if you are interested in doing this at home, you'll receive some of these supplies in our supply kit. You'll receive this 8x10 uh, canvas board, a couple of paint brushes, a bottle of white school glue. You'll receive a sandwich bag full of um, this desert sand that we bought too as well. Um, and then you'll also need some powder paint or alternatively to color the sand. You can also use food coloring, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do that process too as well. Okay, everyone, in order to color your sand, you'll need some powder paints or food coloring if you would like to do that. Um, a mixing bowl, a mixing utensil, some water, and then you'll also need your sand. So in order to do this, go ahead and pour your sand into your mixing bowl. And then you're going to grab whatever color that you would like to utilize. I am showing you how to incorporate blue. And then um, when you add the water, make sure you're not adding a whole lot. Um, you don't want it really wet. You just want it enough um, water so that way the, the powder paints or food coloring mixes with the sand. Once you got your water in, all you have to do is just go ahead and mix up the sand. And if you happen to add more water than you need, what you can always do is get a little bit more sand just to dry it out. And if it looks too dry, you can always add more water. And once you have all the, the coloring mixed in with the sand, you want to put this aside and let it fully dry um, for about a day to two days. If you want to speed up this process, you can put it in um, an oven safe container or a microwavable safe container and uh, heat it up so that way the water evaporates. Um, but I am going to let this naturally dry. Um, and I went ahead move some of my stuff aside. I went ahead and mixed in a variety of other colors. Um, so we're going to be using six different colors today. I have orange, yellow, green, blue, white, and then we're going to also use the natural brown color of the sand um, that we purchased. So with that, let's go ahead and get it started with our painting. Okay, so um, first you'll want to decide what kind of painting you want to do. I'm going to do something very simple. Um, put a layer of sand down for the, the ground and then make a flower in the middle with um, the sky and a couple of clouds. Um, so I'm going to use the orange and yellow to make the flower, the blue for the sky, green to make the, the, the stem and the leaf part of the flowers. And then we'll incorporate some white um, uh, sand for the, the clouds themselves. Um, so with that, uh, make sure your school your your bottle of glue is open.
So again, you want a nice even coat of glue. You make sure it's thin enough, that way it dries faster. You don't want too much glue on your surface, otherwise it's gonna take longer to dry. And once you have your glue down, you're gonna go ahead and get your sand. shake it a little bit, tap at the sides, and voila, there you have it. So we have our first layer of sand. Um, I'm gonna speed up the process so you're not seeing me struggle with this glue. Um, and then uh, we'll go ahead and talk a little bit toward the end too as well.
Alright everyone, um, <laughs> um, I'm kind of unsatisfied with how uh, this is turning out, uh, partly because I didn't wait for my sand to dry, um, it's still kind of wet, and I probably should have taken my own advice and popped it into the oven or the microwave, um, but the, the sand that we used at the beginning, um, because it's dry, it actually adhered to the glue a whole lot better. Um, working with the wet uh, sand was a little bit more difficult. Um, so make sure you plan ahead, make sure that the sand is completely dry. You wanna make sure it feels like the sand texture in the sandwich bags that we provide and not kind of like a gloopy type mess. Um, so I'm gonna wait for the sand to dry a little bit more before I attempt to do this again. Um, but again, we are celebrating Native American Heritage Month. Traditionally, uh, sand paintings are used for ceremonial and religious practices, which we're, t we're not doing at all w uh, with our sand painting. We're just incorporating uh, the basic knowledge of how to make colored sand in order to make painting. Um, so like I said, you need sand, you need powder paints, um, or you can use food coloring and then to adhere the sand to whatever surface you're working on, you want to make sure to use some glue too as well. Um, and then make sure you use um, disposable paint brushes that you don't really care for. You can get these in bulk because uh, your, your glue is going to ruin the bristles. Um, well, yeah, uh, I will incorporate the blue once the blue is a little bit more dry too as well. Thank you for joining me on today's uh, Creative Corner session. Uh, we struggled a little bit because the sand that we were using is a little wet. Make sure you wait for the sand to completely dry um, with whatever color you're using um, in order to do your painting. Um, again, wait maybe a day or two for the sand to fully dry. I waited about 12 hours um, and the sand wasn't still dry. 
If you want to speed up the process, you can always use a hair dryer, microwave, oven. Make sure you use um, safe containers when you heat up the sand. Um, and then um, use the, the sand to color your painting. Um, again, it is Native American Heritage Month, so that's why I'm showing you the basics of sand painting. But these are religious and ceremonial practices, so try not to use any of the iconography um, that's affiliated with it. We just did a simple flower today, so um, went more on the safe road. Uh, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to our social media platforms. We have everything from Facebook to YouTube, uh, TikTok, and much more. They are available on the homepage of our website. I will put the link to our website in the video description for, e uh, for you, uh, so that way it's easier to find. And then if you are interested in doing this at home, we also do have some supply kits available, which will um, have the canvas board, some glue, paint brushes, and a, a sandwich bag full of sand. Um, so that way you can do it at home. Um, again, my name is Josh. Thank you for hanging out with me this afternoon, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.